Hey, what's up, hood folks? This is Jeremy, and it's now time for another hood review up in this motherfucker. <laughs> First of all, I want to thank all the new subscribers and all the people that's watching my videos. Thank you so much for checking that hood boy out. I want to tell y'all about two things. Number one, I'm ghetto and I'm country. So I'm going to talk about everybody i'm loud as fuck i'm country as fuck and that's just how i get down now if you don't like that kind of commentary if you stay in your feelings if you so obsessed with celebrities and all in they ass then maybe you don't need to watch my videos because the celebrities we talking about reality stars or just regular celebrities they ain't stunned about your ass is they paying your past due bills hell no nah. Anyway, but to everybody that's showing the boy some love, thank you so much. And to everybody that disliking a video, even your dislike still equals money. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> anyway, let's go on a slide into this hood review of Love and Hip Hop Season 4, Episode 10 in this motherfucker. Show starts off this week when Jock laying on the couch sleep. A Kirk and Rashida. I thought they were Rashida, not Rashida, but Kirk and Rashida busting in this bitch with some African drum doo -doo 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 -doo, and scared the shit out of Jock and make him fall off the couch. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> now, you know, he didn't hear the camera crew and all the shit from Love and Hip Hop. You sleep that hard? I don't sleep that fucking hard shit. If a flea fr flying over me, I'm waking up like, fuck that. Have you ever been asleep? On the couch in the summertime, especially if you're from the country and a goddamn flat. Fuck! That motherfucker! <laughs> I know I say this joke every fucking review, but you see how Rashida talking. I bet he'll be faithful, real fucking quick. But why the fuck when a microphone come on? I just wanna do things. I wanna squeeze. I wanna do things. In Rashida, I want my boss beat. Fuck, where the fuck that voice come from? That's just like me if I talk like this and they said, Jeremy, sing a song. One baby, I love everything about you, girl. Ooh. But when I talk, I'm talking like this. This shit just don't match Rashida. Damn, Rashida them got the good syrup and the good orange juice. She love her hip hop out playing them motherfucker good to get all the good shit. You know, motherfucker like us, we gotta get that old generic brand, that store brand that is just said orange juice. Cert, it ain't got no name to it. <laughs> God damn, what the fuck you mean you gave Mimi a 90 day trial? What the fuck is Mimi? A fucking subscription to her own star some shit? You giving her a 90 day free trial before you cancel and get your motherfucking money back or some shit? Get the fuck out of here, Jessica Dime. Why do you need a damn manager for her? You ain't got no career. But then again, you might say, Hollywood, you hate. Because if I know if the girl or the dude that work at Wendy's or McDonald's who do the burgers and fries, if they can have a manager, sure you can have a manager too, Jessica Dime. That's what's up. <laughs> Call me wrong if I'm wrong, but dog, why you hate no Mimi? I'm a Mimi fan because she got some long titties, but nah, for real, why the fuck you hate no Mimi? She managed a big million dollar company that can come over and clean your ass up. So, Silent, you hate done, punk ass. <laughs> and here come Mimi. I haven't been able to get Arian off my mind since we left the thing. I know why you can't get her off your mind because she got that good head game. <laughs> Lick her up, area. <laughs> you like that, Mimi? <laughs> I mean, you coming to meet her in peace? Listen, if you coming to meet Hollywood in peace, have a two piece. Better yet, a them three piece. Better yet, a fucking eight piece box from churches, Popeyes, and KFC. I don't want this kind of piece. I want a motherfucking chicken piece. Mimi, now you know Magna Vox is not gonna ever come between your friendship with Arion. She's never gonna come between your friendship with Arion. <laughs> Kalina, where the fuck you was at last night 
when they had the Bad Boy reunion. Puffy falling all down and shit. Where the fuck you was at? Kalina, I would have rather seen you last night versus that tired ass French fry Montana. <laughs> Bad Boy. <laughs> Damn, Waka Flocka Mama look like she can make some good ass banana pudding. Don't she? She, I don't even eat banana pudding. But if Waka Mama made some banana pudding, I sure eat that shit. Damn, Deb. Let me get a bowl of that damn banana pudding. Damn, Jessica Dime and Carly and this uh, poo talking all this bullshit. Well, Jessica, why you so fucking messy and naive and shit? Females, they so fucking messy. It's funny though. And Carly, why your titties sitting up so high? Like I said, like you got a lap sitting up in your chest. <laughs> but you still my good. Oh. Jessica, what career? What career, Jessica? Aretha Franklin have a more better career getting on the pole than you do having a with a successful hit record. It ain't happening. I don't like to speak or hate on people because I'm not doing that. But Jessica, you can't even get it right with Jazz and Faye. How the fuck you go get it with us? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Look at Rashida in here with Kadia. Looking at this old ran down ass building. I'm just playing because you know, if you get a couple cans of paint from Lowe's and some goddamn pictures from Home Depot, shit, you can fix that motherfucker up with some of that. Especially you get some of them little borders from the dollar store. Rashida, you can have that motherfucker sitting fat for real. But anyway, look at Rashida here running game on Kadia telling them damn lies. Rashida, how you gonna win when you ain't right with them, motherfucker? I we up in Mimi, she back over at Arian's house, and look at Arian pull out this sad ass looking fruit. If I was over your house, Arian, you better pull out a goddamn 20 piece Wayne bucket from Buffalo Wild Wings or something. I don't want this sad ass fruit. The fuck? Arian, what the fuck? You can open the door, you can come on in, it's open. What the fuck? The killer can come on in and kill both of y'all motherfuckers. Do you not watch the ID channel? Do you not see how all these women get fucked up because they leave their doors unlocked? Bitch, you ain't in the country. You in the city. You trying to get fucked up, ain't you? Arian leaving the door unlocked. And Matt DeVos, shut the fuck up. We already know Mimi lied about the sex tape, but damn, your husband was in the sex tape too and you forgave his ass. Mimi went out on the sex tape fucking herself, was she? <laughs> and Arian, fuck you two for putting this boring ass get together together and don't even have no real food. The reason these hoes arguing because they hungry. You should have put some grease on their motherfucking stomach and pull out some 40s or some Mad Dog 2020 or some gin and juice or some shit. No, nobody want to eat no damn fruit. Is this the last supper or some shit in this motherfucker? Did Marco just tell Mimi she was too focused on cock? Who the fuck got a cock? <laughs> We got dicks. We don't fuck with cop. Don't nobody want no damn cop. Mimi ain't sprung out no cop. She sprung out on some dick. Get it right, Margo. We, oh, I call her Margo. Her name is Matt Navox. Get the fuck out of here. Some fucking cop. Nobody want no damn cop. She want some dick. Y'all seen that new Pizza Hut pizza they advertise in the hot dog pizza? Don't that shit just look nasty? I'd rather just be on a diet than eating that bullshit. I'd rather snack on ice chips before I eat that bullshit. Pizza Hut. I just had one question. Why the fuck every time somebody come into the scene, it's so fucking dramatic and shit? Damn, BH1? And KD, she bust up in the scene. Jock been blowing up my phone. It's time for me to find out what he been doing. Cause I got a big old head and a big old red wig on my head. And my name is Kadia Jock. You better stop doing me like that. You better love me, Jock. You better love me. And I love his dirty draw. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not hating on you, dog, at all. But you talking about you sick of couch to couch. Motherfucker, ain't you a rapper? Ain't you sold a million copies? Can't you go down to Motel 6 and pay $39.99 a night so Motel 6 can leave the light on for your motherfucking ass and you won't have to be on the couch? Get the fuck out of here, jock. You ain't that broke. Is you? You on TV. 
Shit, here come Jop pulling out these tired ass handcuffs with feathers and shit around them. Get the fuck out of here, Jop. Then you talking about she can handcuff you to the car. Do you know how motherfucking jacking folks up and you want to be handcuffed to the car? What if they jack somebody up and then you can't get the fuck out? Or you in the house, handcuffed to the fucking bed and shit in the house, get your fire. Bitch, you just gonna be a burnt up motherfucker. Oh shit, y'all. I think this scene might be real because she pulled that water on job and people start looking. Because that's the right reaction. When somebody do some shit out in public, you do what? Look. So they might be real. Hold on, let me turn the TV back on. I'll be right back. Hold on, hold on. Stay right there. Stay right there, motherfucker. I'll be right back. I'm back, y'all. Jop from the all kind of game with this motherfucker. I want you to come home, but not right now. I'm not ready. I need some more time. KD, how much time do you need? And then you tie that handcuffs. Jop, they got that little scrap on the side. Just take your other hand and pull that shit out. <laughs> Love hip hop. Y'all be forever. Forever over the fuck shit. <laughs> Damn, Jocelyn called a chick dying penny. <laughs> now that's funny. <laughs> Why you think of that shit? <laughs> oh shit, Carly Red rent her fucking mouth. Ooh, Jocelyn said Jessica Penny <laughs> ate her ass and pussy. Damn, she ate the ass like some groceries. <laughs> I thought this was a fabulous show. Golly, they is going in today. Damn. Ain't nothing like pimping, just don't quit. Motherfuck you, damn shithead bitch. Ain't nothing like tricking, just don't quit. Motherfuck you, damn shit asshole. <laughs> Y'all know about that too short right there. <laughs> Damn, Jocelyn is clowning this motherfucking Jessica no dime piece. Hey! <laughs> I'm telling all y'all motherfucker, never trust a person that talk about their friend behind their back in front of you. Imagine what they saying about you behind your back. No, nah, Crown Vic, Tony, you lying talking about this club don't pop in the daytime. I know four clubs right here in Dallas that be popping one o'clock in the daytime. Because they got ass, titties, and liquor. And motherfucker, it be popping 1 o'clock in the daytime. Give me a dollar and bitch, I'm finna make you holler. Oh, hell no, I can't stand that. Don't pull no fucking trick on me. I'm finna go all night with my homegirls. You cool with that? Okay, go. And then you go and then you get mad because I said go. The fuck, don't pull no trick. Now, Kalina, you my good and I'm roll with, rolling with you. But don't be coming in testing nobody with no contract and talking about I'm just trying to see you go sign the contract. Hell yeah, I'm going to sign the contract to get you on out of the motherfucking business. Oh, man. Crown Vic, Tony, you tripping like a motherfucker. How you going to do your good like that? If a man is dissing the shit out of his girlfriend or man, whoever the fuck he fucking he is cheating. That's a sign of cheating. When he don't got no attention for you, no time for you, the motherfucker is cheating. Are you getting on his nerve and somebody else is peeping his interest? Kalina, dump that motherfucker. Drop his ass down like Puffin fell down in that hole last night at the BT Awards. <laughs> Let that motherfucker go. Jocelyn, my good. And I promise you, Jocelyn and... Kalina and Carla are the, and, and Mimi are the only reason I'm watching Love Hip Hop when it comes to, to the female. And Jocelyn, she killing this song. Literally, Jeffrey Donna, Ted uh, Bundy, Michael Miles, Jason, Chucky, she killing this song. <laughs> okay, so when Jessica walk in the room, Stevie hold demeanor change. Y'all, I'm telling you, when you been, if you in a room with a whole bunch of people and somebody walk in who you fucked in the past or you done had some sex with before, your whole demeanor change. And Stevie J whole demeanor change. I believe the story, not Carly. I believe it, Jessica, no dime piece. You done lick and thick the with Jocelyn and Stevie. Them some fucking freaks. Jessica walked in the studio, and then Jocelyn said, hey, what's up, what's up? I heard you been looking for me, and she drank the drink, and then it goes off. Love Hip Hop, didn't y'all do that same scene last weekend? Like, this supposed to play this weekend, this Monday, some shit. Y'all tripping. Y'all on some fuck shit. Y'all leave fucking cliffhangers to make us come back to watch this old bullshit ass show. I'm ending the show today, the review today. I'm mad as fuck. Mona Scott, fuck you with your short titty ass, hoe. <laughs> and y'all have a happy 
4th of July, I'm out this bitch, eat some baked beans, swallow some ribs, bust a couple of nuts, do it all for a holiday hood in this bitch, and I'll see y'all back next Monday. Maybe we can get the confrontation, the finisher of this motherfucker, and I'm not about to watch the after party. I'll see y'all back next week. Peace. <laughs>